Oh, hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my new video. So, um, as you all know, this is Waycast. So, guys, today we're gonna learn a very, very interesting subject, as you have seen in the like title already. It is right chemistry. So. In chemistry, we're gonna learn the first chapter, that is this. So what is this? Yeah, <laughs> it is matter. So, do you know what is a matter? Yeah, I'll come back in a minute. Okay, let's go. So guys, I'm back. Now, I'm gonna type something, okay? You wanna see what is that? Here you go. Here, this one is the meaning of matter. Okay? So, let's, um, if we can, let's, how? we can't okay that's fine no problem i thought to just increase the font of that so no problem no worries so first let's learn matter is anything that occupies space and has mass and i like to add a sentence that Matter is anything that occupies space, has mass, and can be perceived by senses. Means can be um, like f feel by the senses. Yeah, of course. So all physical objects are composed of matter, and an easily observed property of matter is its state or phrase okay did you understand the meaning of matter yeah i'll explain it again matter is anything that occupies space has mass and can be perceived by senses so all the physical objects yeah all the physical objects are made of uh, matter okay and so this matter is made up of three states of matter that are let's read the sentence the classical state of matter okay matter are solid um i think this is gone I'll write it. Yes, it, you're right. It is solid, liquid, and yo, you're all right. It is gas, solid, liquid, and gas. Okay. I hope uh, everyone understood this. Yeah, everyone did. Yeah, I hope. If you have any doubts, um, yeah, you can message to my. You can say. Um, yeah, Facebook, maybe, and I have even Instagram. Okay, now let's get into it. So next we're gonna talk about Okay. Let me just erase this. Let's next talk about the how oh, this takes a long time. Oh, I'm 
really sorry. Character sticks off the States of Candlesticks of three states of matter. Okay. Now let's see the candlesticks. Just one minute, okay? Give me just three, two, one. So, guys, the table is here. Now let's see. Um, yeah. Does solids have spaces? I don't think so. <laughs> yes, it occupies space. Do you know that? Yes, uh, of course, everyone. So let me put a tick over here. Oh my god, something went in my eyes. Okay, I'm really sorry. So, so does uh, solids occupy space? Yeah, they do. So let's put a tick. Does liquids? Yeah. Gas? Yeah. And does solids have mass? Yes, they have a mass. Does liquids have a mass? Yes, of course. Does gases have a mass? It's a big no. Haha. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Does uh, solids have volume? Like, have a definite volume? Do they? <laughs> of course. Liquids? No, they don't have. Ha! Fool you all. It is yes. Then uh, gases, it's a big again. No, okay. Yeah. Next, do solids have shape? A definite shape? Ha! Huh, yes, of course. Do liquids? Yes, of course. No. Liquids don't have. Okay, I'll just keep this over here so that it'll be it'll be easy for me. Next, uh do solids have uh like density? Do they have it? Do you know? Yes, they do have so we have to take it as yes. Solids have a high density, okay, but whereas liquids have the wait, I'll just decrease this. Oh, we can't. Ha, huh. it's okay, I'll just write it. Yeah, have. All my handwriting. I'm really sorry, guys. Yeah. I'm trying to write. Yeah. Less. And the gases have the 